Kia ora. Greetings. Hello. I'm playing ladies on Kai Order today. I've got two fabulous girlfriends coming for lunch. Stick with me. You'll love it. Well, I've always wanted to come, but because I'm Scottish, I was a little bit on the back foot. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Howard he tinu hoa, ko Lynette McFadden he wahini pakehi kakama. But um, it's been so worth it, the venue, the, the surroundings, the scenery is fantastic. Let's check out what's in store for us today. I've got this wonderful coda here from Tangaroa, God of the Sea. I've got this hapuka, lamb from the Neat Meat Company, oyster mushrooms, some rocket, lemons, limes and oranges for dessert. And it's not what you're thinking, I've got some corn over there. All this is perfect for a ladies lunch. I'm kicking off with this coda. Now the first thing I need to do is chuck this corn into my oven. The whole thing, I've taken out the middle, what you can see in the silky bit here, pull it out what you can do, don't have to be too fussy about it, and also the outer sheaths, there we go, not too much, we don't want to expose the corn at all. What I'm also doing is chucking this marrow in the oven as well, the same length of time, maybe a little bit less, maybe eight minutes. It's for my next dish, but I'm just utilising the oven all at once. So into the oven, 175 degrees on fan bay. Now, what I'm going to do with these coders, because it's a delicate lunch today, I'm not going to cook the bodies, I'm going to have them later on. I'm just going to tear these bodies away from the tail and of course us ladies are just going to deal with the tail. Cut that out of there. With these lemongrass I'm just going to take the outer leaves off them. Take those off and cut them up just to, to help release their flavour. can put these into what the hell and then put my coda tails into the steamer. That's all you have to do. Put the lid on it like that and it'll probably steam because it's only the tails it'll probably steam for about six to eight minutes. So let's keep an eye on the time. While that's happening over there grab this melon here because we're going to have a little bit of melon with our dish. Cut that in half. Smells wonderful and it's going to complement the corn and the coda beautifully. Now take out the seeds. There. Now the wonderful thing about my cooking is that everything is simple, fresh and easy to do. So again we've got the lovely flavours of chilli, ginger. I'm going to use spring onion today. Delicious New Zealand extra virgin olive oil and of course I'm mad about limes. Now I'm really mincing this up today because the subtle flavour of the ginger too over the coda is very very uplifting. Now if you come a bit closer you can smell this too. The lemongrass has infused into this coda. Very subtly, I know. Pull it out of there. We don't want to overcook it. Now I'm just going to deal to this big bruiser here and I'm going to cut this up into medallions. Like this. You can either take the medallions out or you can leave it in depending on how you're going to do your salad. I think I'll take them out. This coda tail is perfectly cooked. Let me show you, it is just underdone. Can you see this? This is coda at its best. You can do it that way or you can do it like this. Just keep my scissors here and cut away. at the sides and we're just going to haul that out. Now you might prefer this because you mightn't have a knife like I've got that you can waste away on the shell. So out it comes. 
So there you go, you can end up with something like that. A bit easier on your knives. And then slice it into medallions as well. Like so. Okay, we're just gonna put that in. On here. That corn is ready. Could just look at that beautiful, beautiful corn. Take all that stuff off it and then just cut off that like that. It's really crunchy and it's very, very sweet. I'm going to put a bit of ginger over the top of it. I'm going to add some spring onions to this and a few chilli shards as well. I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top like this. Squeeze a lime juice over the top and of course there we've got fresh corn from the land, we've got coda from the sea, a truly Pacific treat for the ladies today. I got a call from the Ocean Seafoods and they said we've got this lovely piece of harpook for you today because I know you've got the ladies coming. So here it is, look at this, it's beautiful. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to pan fry it in my pan here and then I'm going to put it in the oven to finish off. So the first thing I need to do is chuck some oil in there. Probably about a quarter of a cup. So I'll wait till that heats up a little. I'm going to salt and pepper my piece of harpooka here, both sides. Whew, it's a gorgeous day out here. My girlfriends and I are going to have a delicious lunch. Lovely. That's the sound we want to hear. That lovely sizzle. Now I've told you before about searing, it keeps all the flavours inside the fish. Harpoka is found all around New Zealand in waters up to 200 metres. What I'm going to do next is chuck it into the oven and roast it. I've got the element onto 200 degrees. But with all my cooking of seafood, I always keep a good keen eye on the cooking process. Here's that marrow that I put in with that corn earlier. I'm just gonna cut it up. I'm using this marrow because I got it from a mate's garden this morning. And then julienne it up. I'm just gonna keep them long like this because we're going to have a bed for the harpooka to sit on. With this fennel, I'm going to sliver it really, really finely because I'm not cooking this fennel, we're going to have it raw. Fennel is very good for the bronchioles, did you know that? It has a slight licorice flavour. Douse that mixture there with my New Zealand extra virgin olive oil. Look at the colour of it. Put some salt and pepper over it. And the juice of a lemon. Wow, this piece of harpooka looks beautiful. Check it out. It's still moist, it's still juicy, and it's creaming itself. I'm gonna plate this up. Beautiful. There we are. So over the harpooka, I'm just putting the lemon juice and just for good measure, a little bit more of the extra virgin olive oil. There we are. What do you think? Another gorgy dish. Wow.
Lunch for you. I can't oh, wait. Thank you. Come so on. Fantastic. The ladies' lunch. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hey, well, here's cheers and oh, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. Oh, it would be lovely. lovely. Thank lovely you. That's I want to eat undercooked. with gusto. <laughs> yeah, I'm really Come hungry on and then, I'm looking we've forward got a, to it. We've got a full-on lunch happening oh, here. Oh, we picked what the right girls in. <laughs> <laughs> Just another Kai order dish. So here's the corn. Um, oh, it's beautiful. It feels like it's had a very short journey to the plate. <laughs> I think that's very <laughs> special. Mm. Oh, it's oh. so special. You just know how to do that. And it's gorgeous, this is gorgeous. I'm just taking a bit of a punt with the chilli now. Mm, it's no. lovely. Because crayfish, you know, I always have a little bit of an, not an issue with eating them, which is <laughs> quite hypocritical. Sort of but they make for them life. From, yeah, I know. And I like that in any creature. Um, and, uh, <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. Is that your favourite champagne? Then? It's not too bad. What's your favourite? <laughs> I like that Paul Roger stuff too. Oh, I do. Paul Roger. Paul Roger. Oh, Paul Roger. Paul Roger. Yeah. <laughs> it's a South Islander in me. That's where we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Did you go out and just catch it with your bare hands no, this morning? I'm very lucky. A friend of mine from Ocean's Seafoods in Auckland here. Oh, how fantastic. Andrew, have you got a boat? Do you go out at all? No, you can't launch a boat out here. Oh, there's right. no fish in the sea at Pakati, <laughs> so don't come. <laughs> and uh, But there's rocks down there and there's no yeah, mussels in oh. oysters either. <laughs> 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 well, there's Good none girl. to speak of. <laughs> oh, really? Go to the South Island. Yeah. yeah. No, there's none there. There's none. <laughs> no, not a thing. <laughs> Go to Scotland. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, yes indeed. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most feral things I've ever done actually was going to the Bluff Oyster Festival. And um, Did you get stuck in, Debs? Oh, dear God. Hello. <laughs> Concrete floor, thank goodness. Oh. I feel really sorry for the cleaners the next day. We just had dozens and dozens of them and just basically drinking them. You know, mm. all day, mm. covered in oyster juice. Oh. Very smelly. I'm mm. going to go to Bluff one day. Oh, have just you not for been those, oh, Just for those oysters. Can I come oh. with you? No. It was someone so invite me from it. Bluff? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've made quick work of that, haven't we? Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> There's my tarot up bringing mm, me I know. <laughs> Three brothers, got to eat fast. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, I'm going to leave Managed and that I'm going well. to come back um, and shortly so with the next dish. Now I'm just cutting off some lamb strips off the leg here. It's so beautiful this meat that I can cut it any way I like and it's still tender. So just thin strips like this. And you know what, that's more than enough for our salad. I'm going to get some extra virgin olive oil and throw it onto my grunchy grill here. So quickly throw these things on, like so. Very, very hot temperature. That halloumi cheese I'm cutting up. Doesn't take long to cook. It's perfect for grilling and frying. Flip these lamb things over. Look, they're, they're only taking a moment to cook. Now this lamb and halloumi is ready, so we need to get it off this hot plate immediately. I'll just pop it into my pan over here. Wow. If we had smell-o-vision, you'd be going crazy. Look how gorgeous it browns up. And let's make up the salad. So, here we go. I've got some rocket here. I've got some red onions that I've already slivered up. Mm. 
What's synonymous with lame? Garlic. I'm going to do them raw this time because I want to taste that fresh garlic in my salad. I'm going to put in some spring onions here, toss it up. I'm going to fire in my halloumi cheese and with the lamb, I'm just going to cut up into little pieces. See how it's a little pink still inside? That's how we like it. I'm going to put some red capsicum in here for colour. Put some extra virgin olive oil into it and toss it all around. Put some salt and pepper in it. And because it looks so delicious, I'm going to pop a little piece into my mouth and tell you all about it. This is a beautiful salad. Make it. The girls are just going to love it. And <laughs> lamb and rocket. Oh, Thank and you, Annie. And rocket. Oh, rocket's oh, special too, isn't it? Oh. No, okay. I agree. Come on then. Oh, Tuck in. Lovely, Annie. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Um, How do you beautiful. get on with your high flying life? With your with your uh, with what you eat? With and cooking? What? Yes. Oh, look, it's a bit of it's a bit of a juggling act. Um I cook a couple of nights a week. I my sister comes and cooks on Wednesday. And she's a beautiful cook, so we have this gorgeous family meal with her children and my children, and we sit down and eat a lovely meal all together. But I've got to say, Annie, during the week she's touch and go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it's borderline. It's borderline. Some days it looks like something out of Vogue Entertaining, and some days, you, you know, you don't want to know about it, baby. Mm. Annie, that's gorgeous. Did it take mm. long to put together? Is it? Is, it's, uh, I feel this you could do it quickly. It's taken me home. less than ten minutes, I guess. Yeah. Hello. To get on the plate. Hope the kids aren't watching. They'll be saying you can serve that, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a bowl of co cocoa pops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love cooking, and you know, I love food. I love cooking, but my son. Who's 18 has just become in the last four months a vegetarian. But it was a great opportunity for me to say, well, okay, love, this is your chance. I'll, I'll tell you how it works, and you can cook your own food. So from the last for the last four months, my 18-year-old son's cooked his own food. Is it? Mm. Yeah, because oh. he's vegetarian. He's working it all out. And, and he lives with you. Yeah, he lives with you. Yeah, which is so good because I think if I'd kept cooking and he was still a carnivore, he wouldn't have learnt to cook. I've always said that food is love, Annie. But you, when you cook. It's like there's an extra helping of love. You know, no. I'm just loving it. It's so beautiful. You know what? You're beautiful. <laughs> you are. Mm, what a beautiful yeah. thing to say, babe. It's true, though. Mm. It's true. Mm. Oh, mm. you're going again to do something else, I fabulous. Am, I am. I've got this busy in sexy kitchen, little babe. Mm. dessert. I won't oh. tell you what it is. It's paradise. quite naughty. Mm. Oh, paradise is half as nice as this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make us something that's really, really delicious, but I'm only halving the recipe because us gals shouldn't eat any more than I'm making. And what I'm making is a delightful citrus panna cotta. So onto the element, I'm going to put about 60 mils of milk in there. And in here, it's about 200 mils of that cream. And of course, about 50 grams of sugar to start off with. We're going to wait till it melts down. Into this bowl of water here, I'm going to put one and a half of these leaves of the silver gelatin. So I'll cut that there. That's three halves, one and a half. And we're going to wait for that to go all gluggy. And I imagine by the time that's done, this gelatin will be ready too. 
I'm going to put a little bit of this organic ginger into the mix here, probably about a teaspoonful, and we're going to bring it to the boil. Yep. In the meantime, I'm going to get some zest because with this being a citrus panna cotta, I'm going to need some of the zest from the orange, from the lemon, and from the lime. This is boiling now, so I'll pull it off the element, turn it off. This gelatin is ready now. It's going to coagulate in the mixture here. Squeeze out the water and throw it in there and whisk it up. I'm going to put a little bit of this pure orange oil into it. Just a dash. I'm adding that oil last so it doesn't emulsify. That's pretty much it. I'm going to pour this mixture into here. Add my lemon lime and orange zest. Oh, I can hear the girls having a great time out there. I'm hurrying. Look at that, that's gorgy. Those colours and tip them into my little pottles here. It's as simple as that. Now we need to put it in the fridge to set. It'll take a few hours, but I've been really clever. I've already got some happening. In the meantime, I'm going to segment out some orange lemon and lime. So take the skin and the pith off, like so. And then just segment out these things like this. I'm going to do the same thing with the lime and cut the segments out of there. A little bit fiddly. So here we are with a warm knife, this is warm. I've heated this up a little bit so it's going to be easy to get out of my little pottle here. Cut around the edges like this. And then, here we go. And that's enough for us. Each, a little bit of naughtiness, won't do us much harm. The little lemon really and lime simple, zest on the side beautiful. here. Beautiful, tastes fantastic. Mm. 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 Oh, that's so so God, I'm a good one. cook. Oh, the Gorgeous fruit. finale. Mm. To the food we've had. Oh yes, the food was amazing, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking of gorgeous finales, <laughs> you must have something for me, Debs. I'm going to sing a wee song from my album, Soothe Me, Annie. Oh. It's got exactly like you. And I know why I've been blue. <laughs> I prayed each night for someone exactly like you. <laughs> I know I'm my mother. She told me to be true Cause she met me from somewhere Exactly like you You make me feel so grand Every 
Can you beat that? <laughs> Kia ora from Kai Order and see you next week. Him, man.